wear your mask, social distance, stay inside. That's what we're going to do. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. it. You know, as we start off every podcast, mm-hmm. um, Community Coalition Show, we back, y'all. Hey. What's good? What's up? You know, we're the gang. Quarantine, stay inside. Do yep. your part. We're trying, yep. we trying to, you know, get rid of this so we can get back outside. Right. You know, so a couple of things I do want to throw out there. This is episode 80, actually. Hey. Um, eight zero. So we we rolling along. Yeah, we are. Pushing towards that 100 mark. I can't wait till we get to 100, for real. Um, yeah, me too. That's yeah. going to be a good episode. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with it. Um, also, letting everybody know, that we are also part of the Black Squirrel Media Network. Community yes, Media we are. Part of the network. So check us out at blackscrollmedia.com. Mm-hmm. Learn more about the other shows, the other entities that are going on there. Mm-hmm. Um, buy some merch. Buy some merch at the store with the Black Squirrel Media Network store. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be revamping that soon. Hopefully. Yep. Um, so we got some good stuff going on, y'all. So not just the Community Coalition show, but also check out the network as right. well, too. So Because we got a lot of stuff coming. We got a lot of stuff coming. We got a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. It's an exciting time. You know, yep. we're trying to end 2020 with a bang. Right. Um, for a year that's been kind of crazy and all the stuff going on. You know, okay. we at least figure we can do our part to make some stuff happen, some good stuff, you know? Exactly. So working with a lot of um, Black creators, mm-hmm. that's what the network is all about. So mm-hmm. just be on the lookout for some of the other stuff coming on there. Um, right. Go back to here. So yeah. I don't know. This has been one of the weeks, like, yeah, so much is going on. But one thing I did want to say, that this came to my attention, like, a couple of days ago, David, like, okay. Um, I realized that this show was not for everybody. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, just the nature of what we're doing, and I hate to say it like this, but like, you know, we're talking about things that aren't necessarily entertaining all the time. I mean, or, we have to have those hard conversations because that's exactly what this show is about. That's what it's like. About. We're here to have those conversations so that we can clear the air. We can so that we can work through it. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why we do this. That's why we do it. But what I found is that not everybody likes the hard conversation. Mm. You know, and I also found too that when we're talking about like podcasts and stuff like that, some people like it, but I find a lot of people like to be entertained. Um, <laughs> and I think we're entertaining. I think we're funny. I know? like to think that I, I am. Like Look, I'm funny to me. I don't care. <laughs> like, I laugh at my own jokes. I don't care. I'm hilarious. I do- Oh. If you know me, you know I laugh at my own jokes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, look. Like, you know, I, like y'all know that, like, at, if you've hung out with me, you know at, at a lot of random times, I just start busting out laughing. Yeah. It's because I'm just thinking of jokes in my head. Life is funny. I don't yeah. care. You know? So, either y'all long for, long for the ride or you're not at this point. Right. Um, but, but I did realize that. Now, I saw some things and I was like, eh, okay. Um, oh, did we so, get some hate? Not necessarily hate, but it's just I think I'm, I'm saying this because if you're rocking with us, if you if you watch and listen to this show, mm-hmm. you know what time it is. Yeah. If you don't, I can understand why. I mean, this is a name. There's nothing about Community Coalition show right. that, you know, that's not going to say that there's some seriousness to this sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we have fun with this too. We talk about all types of stuff, but mm-hmm. um, I, I refuse to put this show in a box. Right. You know, and I know you do too. Like, no, w- this is a very diverse show. We talk about a lot of different stuff. We have fun sometimes. Right. It doesn't have to be serious. So yeah. I just, as I was thinking about that, like, you know, I just is realizing that we're not for everyone. You know, sometimes stuff can be a little heavy and sometimes people don't want to hear or see that. And I get that. Mm-hmm. So I just, with that being said, I wanted to shout out people who do support the show. Yep. You know, and, and I think. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. And, and as gang, we grow the show organically, you know, it's listener by listener, watcher by watcher. People, they hear it, they see it, they know the concept, and they're, they're, they like it. You yeah. know, so I just want to. know the vibes. Out. Yeah. So shout out to everybody who knows those vibes. You know, I, I did. know the vibes. Because to me, that is important. Mm-hmm. And I think the people who do listen and watch this, like, these are the same people who are going out trying to make it happen as well, too. Right. They're know? trying to make the world a better place. Yeah. And, and they're trying I, to educate and inspire. Yeah. Like we are. 
Like, yep, at, at the end of the day. So shout outs to y'all for just rocking with us. You know, absolutely. Um, so I wanted to say that. So that was like one thing that was on my mind this week. There's, mm-hmm. there's a lot going on. Um, then there's been a lot of other stuff going on. So yeah, this is going to be one of them shows where I'm probably going to vent a little bit. But you know, yeah, then there's yeah. a point to it. Before you start venting, there are uh, other hard things that we have to say right now. Say uh, like, uh, rest in peace, uh, Casey Goodwin Jr. Goodson Jr. Yeah. I apologize. He was killed by the police, and the police thought that. So he had a Subway sandwich in his hand, and the police thought it was a gun. Yeah. When. When the hell does a Subway sandwich look like a gun? I don't know. Like, I'm not even trying to get all technical. Wrapper, bread, sandwich. Right. Like, that's not an excuse. No, I'm not I'm not rocking with that. Like, yeah. and I'm not even, like, I'm, I'm not rocking with that. Yeah. At me some me. point in time. No, that's BS to me. No. Yeah, it is. No. Especially it since is. his the stupid like his back was turned. And like I really I really think about this back. stuff. Like, yeah. So how the hell do you even know? Like I'm saying, like like how the hell do they even know what it was? Like, no, no, no. You you could do a better job than that. Do a better job. No. Eric. Damn that. Damn like, that. It's so no. stupid. No, if you that scared, if you that pussy, you shouldn't be a cop. You I'm shouldn't just, be a cop. Just gonna say it. No, not rocking with that. No, nah. right. there's no way you could fuse a subway sandwich for a gun. Right. And you have your back turned. So how did you know in the first place? Right. Nah, man. Nah. Do a better job. Mm-hmm. Not rocking with that. Plain and simple. I don't care what you come up with at this point. Yep. Like, like no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You have time to figure it out too. Mm-hmm. You do. You have plenty of time to figure out. That this is classic case. No, right. No. You also, for that. Uh, sorry. Also, I want to say rest in peace to Natalie Desell Reed. Yeah, I saw that. She. Nah, if you know who this is, then you already know that. Like, she was a very active actress. Yeah. In the black community, she's been in movies like she's been in movies uh, like. Uh, Cinderella, the brandy version, the only version I rock with. <laughs> <laughs> She's been on shows like Eve. Yeah. Like, she was a black working actress. They call them like working actresses because, like, you see them in a lot of stuff. Right. They're, they're out there, mm-hmm. you know, and you would know her face, even if you don't know her. You, you probably watched something you saw, like, yeah. you would recognize her from some role that she like. Did. Like y'all know how we do. It's like, oh, that's, that's yeah, that's so and so. I seen yeah. so and so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she was early fifties, I think it was. Yeah, fifty three. Yeah, man. Um, rest in peace. This is, yeah. this is. I'm, um, you know, it's been a rough period, you know. Mm-hmm. So we got to keep saying it. Got to right. keep saying it. honor people, giving people their flowers. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, not yet. I know. We'll save the other stuff for yeah our yeah. ending segment. I know. And as I just watched the Steelers lose too, man. Like, yeah. oh yeah. man, the yeah. yeah. Niners. And it's not even that they lost. It's the football team they lost to. I can't even call them that anymore. Like, you Who know, did they lose to the damn Redskins. I'm saying, you know what? Like, whatever. Oh, I can't call them the Redskins. Which find me. Mm. I mean, hey, like, but, and so this kind of sucks to like, we're in the DMV, we're, we're in the DC. <laughs> I'm already getting phone calls. I've, I've already seen some texts. <laughs> like, right before getting, started, getting, like, getting all those texts from your boys, like, hey, y'all, you see who lost? You so, like, and, like, hey, hey, hey. Y'all see you see the game? Yes, yeah, I saw the game. <laughs> Not only that, because I have been kind of gloating over the last couple of weeks. If you've seen my social media, 
Yeah. Yeah, me and the Steelers there. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll be kind of off screen a little bit, but we've been kind of gloating. So, you know, yeah. I, I deserve it. I deserve the phone calls. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't answered them because eh, I had to start the show. <laughs> That's your excuse. Hey, what? We'll hit y'all. We'll hit y'all after the show. Yeah, I hit you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna hit you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I actually, I do have something good to say. That's what's up. What's up? Black excellence. Rashida Jones. Not the Rashida Jones, not the daughter of, uh, not the daughter of Quincy Jones. Yeah. Okay. But Rashida Jones has become the new head of MSNBC. Oh, word! And now that is the first Black female to head the network. That's what's up. You know, congrats. So shout out to her. Yeah, shout out. Love to see that, it. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we're starting to see some of that. You know, we need to start getting. Our, our, we need to start giving people their flowers. Yeah, and also getting the black excellence out there too. Mm-hmm. Because we qualified. see way too much ne- negativity. Yeah. Just, just as much qualified for every job out there, you know. So right. Start getting these positions, like, so that's that's a good thing too. That is right. Shout out, sir. Shout outs. Yeah, so good stuff going on, man. You know, because sometimes mm-hmm. we need to hear that stuff too. It's not, it's not bragging. It's not boasting. It's just. Sometimes just hearing those things does boost morale, confidence, right. motivation. Mm-hmm. You know, always think about young people like, hey, you can do this too, you know? Exactly. Um, so we need to hear those stories. So that, that's, that's what's up. Um, shout outs to Black businesses too. Mm-hmm. Um, gang, gang. Man. Oh, speaking of Black business, let me, shout out, business. let me shout out uh, my little bro, Com- uh, my little bro, Joshua. With his uh, with his business, Kamba Entertainment, they uh, he I just bought a shirt from him. He's doing big things. He's a photographer in Southern California. He's I've known him since like, like he's literally my god my god brother. So that's what's up. Like, hey, send me some skyline pictures. Send me some. <laughs> Next time I'm in Cali, you know, hit me up with a with a headshot or something. I'm with it, right? Um, but that's yeah. what's up. Shout out to Black businesses. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We got a lot of them around. Um, was oh, also, what am I doing? Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Chris. Yeah, man. What's going on, Chris? I just bought a shirt from you. Yep. <laughs> we got to rock that. I know. I need one, too. Give me an extra. I need some larger size stuff. We, we can talk about that later. Right. Anybody, if y'all have merch, and this is another thing, too. If you have merch, like, look out for the big brothers. <laughs> so often, Absolutely. So often I go on websites and stuff, and I want to buy merch. I want to support. Mm-hmm. But y'all be stopping at like XL, maybe a two way. That ain't for me, fam. Hey, Kenny, tell him your size. I mean, look, I'll be honest, I'm a four X on a good day. So like mm. I hey, look, I, I even I've even negotiated where I will send you a shirt if you just print it and give it back to me. You right. know what I'm saying? I'll give you what you need for it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just sometimes you just want to support and I can't. So, so a lot of times right. what happen, I have to buy a shirt. And I'll buy for somebody like a family member or somebody. Right. Just to show support, show love, but at least somebody's out there wearing that merch. Right. You know, I would like to wear the merch. Well, uh, make some merch for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you go to the Black Store Media Network, we got merch for big homies. We, we got I'm merch big, for big homies. We got merch for big homies. You know what I'm saying? Big so homies, like, low homies. Low homies, everybody. Women. Women, yep. So um, everything in between. So I, I had to throw out there like, Make something for us too, you know. Right. I went on a particular website like a couple of days ago and I was like, come on, fam. What am I going to do with a medium? What am I going with? I can't I can't do nothing. I'm not purchasing a medium to do nothing with. So throw that out there. But that, that's all good stuff though. Um so I'm glad we were able to kind of get that stuff out the way. Now Absolutely. um grinding my gears, man. What did you want to talk about this week, Kenny? <sighs> you know, I was, I was hoping we had something good, but <laughs> I've been in a, I've been in a kind of semi funk. I don't even know if I want to call it that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but man, it's 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 been a rough couple weeks when it comes to like family, friendships, relationships, stuff like that. Right. Um, and not just holiday season, but like it's just one of those things in general. So 
I know I am the strong friend for a lot of people. Mm. I know that I've come to my life and I've always been that for a lot of people, right? right. Um, it's something that I kind of, I kind of come to like accept, mm-hmm. but there's a lot with it, y'all. You know, yeah. like there's a lot that goes on with it. So I wanted to have that conversation because um, we all have the strong friend. If you're the strong, right. friend, you probably know you're the strong friend. Mm-hmm. Or if not, you probably know somebody. There's somebody that you lean on, that you look to, and things right. like that for time support and stuff like that. Right. So, I, you know, I don't think it's it's talked about enough about just acknowledging that. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, strong friends need support too. Right. You know, got to check in. We got to check in on them. We got to check in on them. But I mean, so it to me it goes it goes a lot deeper than that. Mm-hmm. I think I don't. You know. So listen, talk about who the strong friend. Like, mm-hmm. like I said. Being the strong friend, it's a lot of weight. It's a right. lot of responsibility that's put on a person. And sometimes it may not be that they're doing things physically. Right. There's a lot of mental fatigue that comes along with it. Absolutely. You know? um, so a couple of things I just wanted to point out there. One, I think people have a tendency to think that the strong friend is only there for them. Mm. But Trust me, if, if you're that person, especially in our community, there's leaders, there's people that look up to, you know, there's people in these positions. Right. But I know in our community, there's not that many of them. Right. Which means that there's probably one for a group of people. Mm-hmm. It's not just one-on-one strong friend. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if there's one strong friend, there's probably several people that depend on that person. Right. For a lot, for a couple of different things. Some people just need someone to bounce ideas off. Some people need someone mm-hmm. to vent to. Some people need things physically. Sometimes it's financial stuff like right. that. And so a lot of times, and I've had these conversations with other people in the situation. This is where it kind of came from. Mm-hmm. I was talking to one of my homeboys, and I know we kind of share the same sentiment. Right. And sometimes it's hard because, like, you're getting tugged and pulled in a lot of different directions. Right. You know, like I said, one day you might get a phone call or a text from somebody who's just going through something. Right. Another day, somebody's calling you to ask to borrow money. Another day, somebody, hey, you know, because most of the time you're the person who people ask questions to. Mm-hmm. They have a question about something. So they hit you. Right. You know, this stuff happens a lot. And right. through a given day, it can happen several times. This okay. That can be draining for an individual, especially someone... Like I said, some days, you know, we got our own stuff going on. Right. You know, so I don't think we acknowledge the toll that it takes. You know. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. And 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 if you're a person who, like I said, if you're the strong friend, and I'm using that term loosely, but mm-hmm. the best way I can describe it right now. Right. The strong friend, you're you're that person for a reason, which means you take it on, which means you own that responsibility, right? Right. But a lot of times things just don't bounce off. It's not so easy to just let stuff go. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I've had real conversations, hard conversations to have. Absolutely. And sometimes, even though it's not my situation, it's hard to shake that stuff sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like I get heavy news. Right. And and outside of just like my work stuff that I deal with, and I get heavy stuff on that end sometimes. But even on a personal level, some people I love, sometimes people be going through stuff and they confide. Um, and also too, there's times where I can't tell people. I don't I don't gossip. I don't share other people's business. Right. You know, so sometimes you gotta eat that. You gotta sit on that. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta hold that secret sometimes. Mm-hmm. And, and I can't vent that to somebody else. Right. You know, so sometimes that that can be a mental challenge. Mm-hmm. That can be hard. People tell me heavy stuff, and it's like, all right. Sometimes I need time to process that. Right. It wasn't even my stuff, but I'm like, yeah, I gotta sit down, and think about that for a second. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think what I I think I'm the strong friend for like a few people in my life, and. Let me uh, let me preface this by saying I am not a strong person, but I will say that 
because I've I've definitely broken down plenty of times and I've gone to my strong friends and I I've definitely vented to them and I very much appreciate them for that. Yeah. But also I have been the strong friend for for a few of my friends. And like honestly what what I tell people is that like hey if you need anything if you need to call if you need to talk to anybody my phone is here yeah like you have my number call me at any time even if it's like what two three in the morning call me yeah and there have been those times too but sometimes you take that yeah. phone call and i've taken those one o'clock two o'clock phone calls and stuff has to happen mm-hmm. you know hey i got i gotta go up you know Merges and stuff like, right? You know these things happen, and so again, that that's that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the financial stuff, right? That can take its toll. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you want to, and it's not that you don't want to help people; you want to help people, right? But I, I'll be honest, I get asked for money four to six times a given week. Mm. A couple weeks ago, I counted it was nine times. Wow. And sometimes, you know, it's not a big deal. Sometimes people just need a couple of dollars to get through. Right. And sometimes it's more. Right. That's also a toll because again, it's not that sometimes you don't want to help, but right. that's a numbers game. Mm-hmm. Four or five people ask for money at some point in time, like you dip it in the pockets for it, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's hard too. I've actually recently lost some friendships mm. who aren't speaking because sometimes you gotta say no. Right. Sometimes they're like, I, I, you know, that's a, that's and that's a hard one for me. Right. When I was younger, I would really overextend myself, you know, and I got burned a lot of times, especially when people say, "I'm gonna pay you back. Just give me a couple of days, and you never see it." And so sometimes me being young and kind of immature, I would give what I didn't have necessarily, like money for like a bill or something I was supposed to be paying, mm-hmm. thinking that, okay, I'm going to get it back in a couple of days. They're going to give it back and I never get it back. And then I'm short. Right. You know, stuff like that. Because you sometimes people got big hearts. You want to help, like mm-hmm. try to help your folks out. But then you get burned. Right. You know, so I'm at the point in my life now where if I, I you know, if I don't have it, I don't have it. Right. Um, and sometimes I've had to be in that. That's just being honest. And sometimes it has to be hard. And, and I've come to learn that, you know, I'm not going to compromise my needs to help sometimes financially. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I got money for a bill, my bill has to get paid first. Right. That's just how I feel. You know, I got fam. My kids come first. Right. You know, stuff like that. And so then if I can give, then I can, I can give. I'll do what I can. Right. Um, but I had to set those boundaries. Mm-hmm. But people don't see it that way. Right. And, that, you know, and so I've learned. That's one of the things, like, I've really kind of gotten hard on. Like, don't count my pockets. I don't, like, I don't count other people's pockets, meaning that I'm not clocking your money. Right. You know, like, also, too, I've come to learn, especially when, and we all know this chronic situation. There are some times with some people we know where it's like, I know that person. I know it's probably tough. They had a tough right. time asking. They probably really need. And then there's those people that constantly come back. Right. The repeat offenders, I like to call them. Every couple of weeks is a problem. Every couple of weeks, something's happening. It's a major event. They're down and out and they need some money or something. Mm-hmm. That Those are the people I'm like, no, no, at this point, no. Mm-hmm. You're not going to guilt trip me. You're not going to make me feel bad. No. Right. Another thing to remember is too, and I'm going to say this and being honest and I'm being real. Mm-hmm. People work hard for their money. You know, people busting their tails out here to make this stuff happen, mm-hmm. to earn money for they for themselves, their family, stuff like that. And sometimes it's hard when you don't have people that's earning their keep. They're not doing what they can to support themselves, but they want you to help. Right. Nah, man, that's not cool. That ain't right. You know, so that's when that's when I draw the line with certain things. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, but it, it, like I said, it's cost. 
Right. Some people I care deeply about, some people I love. And it's like, we're not speaking now because I had to say no. Right. I had to say no. Oh, um, right. And that, I, mean, I have a few people in my life like that, but like, but also like, for one, they're like, I have friends that like will hit me up and, they, and they'll say, hey, can you spot me a few bucks? Hey, I got you. Yeah. Like, and also they always come back and they'll say, hey, you, you know that money that I borrowed for you, from you? Right here. You got it. Yeah. And I very much appreciate that. Yeah. And that's also a- there are people that like that are like that I know that like won't pay that probably won't pay you back that it's like it's all good. Like yeah. Honestly, I know like I know their situation, so you know what? It's all good. You take that. I don't need it back. Yeah. Let me help you out. Yeah. It's those and those those happen. Sometimes you're like, yeah, you know what? Don't worry about it. I mm-hmm. it, it's cool, you know. Right. To me, like I said, it's the repeat offenders. That, that's been my issue lately. And some of these has been like ongoing. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, and then I had to come realize, and, and it was hard to think like, wait, I don't really talk to this person. Some people, and then mm-hmm. we ain't never hang. You know, the bulk of our communication has always been when they need something from them. Right. One side of relationship. So I had to sit down and reevaluate, like, wait, wait, how many people around me are just around for something? Mm. And to be honest, that conversation with yourself hurts a little. So right. you're like, wait, this is not what I thought our friendship was. Mm-hmm. Something else. Except right. I had some people might have caught along, along the way in my life, and it was like, I can feel it coming. I know the ask is coming. I was just talking about this. Like, they hitting you up Monday, Tuesday. What's going on? How's everything? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and they, and they feel like they're warming you up. Right. By Wednesday, they telling you about something that happened. Right. Oh, man, you know, uh, my kid's birthday's coming up this week, things like that. Oh, we have had this conversation. We've had this conversation. Ah, so they're warming you up. So they're filling you out, then they warm you, then they got, then they, they tug on your heart. Mm-hmm. So by Thursday, they ask, mm-hmm. trying to get it by Friday. Mm-hmm. You know, and you see this pattern mm-hmm. that keeps happening. You know, so you're thinking, because when you first text, you text, you're thinking everything is good, all of a sudden, everything good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next day, oh man, but you know, like something. So I started seeing this pattern. Mm-hmm. And some people have different ways of doing it, but I've seen patterns like this. You know, those are the times where it's like, no, no. And this is just me. I don't know how other people feel, mm-hmm. but that goes along with like leaning on people too much. Right. You know, so not only do you have the strong friend, but I think it's important. So it's important to acknowledge that we have these people in our lives that we can lean on. But I want to say that these people are also human. Right. These people also have their own lives. They have their own responsibilities. One thing to remember about the strong friends is that they are not on this earth just for you. Right. And I think we have to be real and honest about that. You know, Mm -hmm. strong friends, if you are the strong friend, know that it is okay sometimes to set boundaries. Right. Sometimes you have to say no, or I can't do this right now. You know, that has to be okay. And if the people around you, if they love you and they respect you for that, they know they may not like it, but they'll respect it. All right. And I had to learn if they didn't, then I knew I knew those people weren't the people supposed to be in my life. Right. You know? Um, mm-hmm. So I think it's, I think we have to acknowledge that. Like, it's okay. Like, so as I was talking to one of my homeboys, we were having this conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, we were just talking about some of the, the boundaries we've had to set, you know? Right. Like I said, some things, you know, so like sometimes it's okay to say no. Absolutely. Sometimes it has to be okay to say, you know what, let me call you back. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people call this, it's like World War Three. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's like, let me hit you back. You know, mm-hmm. give me a minute. I'm in the middle of something, but you know, I got to handle this first. I, I'll right. hit you back. Text message, same thing. Hey, give me a little bit. I'll call you back or I'll hit you back. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, it, you know, like I said, it can, you're, you're 
problem is may not be everybody else's emergency. Right. That's okay. So strong friends, people, don't be afraid to say that. Right. And I want to say I've been on both sides of this. I've been the person to lean on people and I've been the person that people lean on. So like, especially being the person that, that leads on other people. One, it depends on the situation because it's like, hey, I need, uh, can you spot me like three bucks? I was short this week. I got you. Yeah. Hey, I need to get dinner. I got you. Hey, I need to pay tuition. I ain't got that. You ain't got that, you know? And that has to be okay. Right. Like, I've been in a situation where I tell people pay month's rent and stuff like that. Like, you know. Yeah, we've talked about that. And then next month, it's like, I can't. I can't continue to do that. Look, I, I did right. what I could, you know, but I'm, that's not what I'm here for. Right. You know, um, we have to do that. Mm-hmm. It's it's okay, you know? Um even one thing I learned even as being a consultant too, like even with things like advice and things like that, sometimes we have to set boundaries with that stuff too. Mm-hmm. People, I've, I've found, I call them like, like vultures, knowledge vultures. Right. A lot of people will come and they want your knowledge, they want your information. Mm-hmm. And I was like, as a consultant, I'm like, wait, like. Don't I get paid to do this? I get paid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For stuff like this, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I had to start, I had to start finding ways in a, to set boundaries. And, I, and, and if, you're, if you're watching, if you're listening to y'all, like, I'm not trying to tell you it's about money and stuff like that. Right. But what becomes important sometimes is time. It was the time that was important. Mm-hmm. You get a phone call from a friend, they ask a question, next thing you know, an hour goes by, two hours goes by. Mm-hmm. That's time. Right. The older I've gotten, the one thing I've learned is time is valuable to me. Absolutely. My time is important to me. How I spend it, how I use it is important. Mm-hmm. And sometimes a little advice here and there, cool, cool, cool. My issue again was the vultures. They keep coming. They right. keep coming They're like vultures, like vampires. Mm-hmm. And you can give somebody advice and they don't take your advice and they come back with the same issue. Right. I don't have time for that, you know. So yeah, that was that was me. That's, that's like, like I I wouldn't take advice, and it would blow up in my face multiple times. And once you okay, what? How do I want to work this? Um, <laughs> because there are times where, like you don't necessarily need to do exactly what that person said and it works out somehow but also like there are like if someone's if someone is generally trying to help you like they're trying to see you succeed you got to take that advice yeah swallow your pride do what that person says nope Swallow the pride, but also too know who you're getting advice from. And that's another mm. thing too. Sometimes right. not everybody's qualified mm. to give you that advice that you may be seeking for whatever that's going on at that moment. Mm-hmm. That's another thing too. Not everybody's relationship expert. Not everybody's a money management expert. Not everybody's a business consultant, you know? You gotta <laughs> know and pick and choose who you're talking to at that moment. Right. And I think that's part of the reason. So that's why not all advice is good advice. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to a crackhead for how to kick a habit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo. <laughs> sometimes it has to be like that. That's why, especially yeah. when we see like friends, especially I think I was I was very much trying to think of a good analogy to throw out there, but that is perfect. That I'm saying you no. Know, like, why would you go to a crackhead to, to learn how to kick a habit? Like you don't like then then they come back to you, man. What you talking about? I had all crap. Yeah, <laughs> so they gonna tell you, man. No, you ain't got no problems. <laughs> you ain't do it. Like how you gonna do it with them? But sometimes you're that crackhead. 
That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we're not qualified. And sometimes it has to be okay to say, you know what? I'm not qualified to answer that. Mm-hmm. That's not me. That's not my area of expertise. Right. Like I was here, the relationship stuff is probably always the biggest one I come across. Mm-hmm. You know, I hear it all the time. Like, I always say, why would you ask a single person for marriage advice? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, or, you know, like we, we all have these friends where it's like sometimes you know who you shouldn't be talking to. Right. <laughs> probably know better. <laughs> That's on you. Again. I kick a habit. My man's a crackhead. I'm not gonna sit here and confide in him. There's somebody else I need to be talking to. Like we have to know that too. That's part of that like discernment and like who who the who's what in your life. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, I just I just got it. Um, when a homeless person comes up to you and asks you for money, and you say sorry, I ain't got it. Then they come. <laughs> like there's a post on there's a post on uh Facebook. It's like it's like, hey, can I can I get a dollar? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. Broken. Like, yeah, like <laughs> and I know that's not funny sometimes, but sometimes we're like, what? Uh, I'm sorry. That, like when I saw that because I get I've been, I've been cussed out like that. Like, mm-hmm. like, wait, hold up. What? Did you just say that to me? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta stop yourself because, like, you know, <laughs> at this point, I have a choice. I can be evil. Uh, I can be evil. I'm just gonna keep it me, you know. Like, I remember once I was having a conversation with my man McDonald's girl. Okay, like, you got a cigarette? No, y'all some broke mom. Or I don't smoke. There's a lot of reasons, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Slim, please go on the bus. Like, I ain't got time to get back and forth with you. Like, how you gonna ask for somebody for something they say no and then you get mad? Never understood that. Hmm. Like, but also know. there's power in I don't know. Yeah, yeah, especially when it comes to advice. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like sometimes mm-hmm. we don't know everything. Right. We and it has to be okay to say, you know what? Nah, I really don't know much about that. You know, right. I've but, never been in that situation. I apologize. Maybe you can talk to this person. Exactly. Maybe because they've yeah. gone through something similar to that situation. Yeah. So right. My new thing, hey, there's a lot of therapists out there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of therapy apps out there. Maybe, you know, you might want to seek professional advice. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's another thing, like, stop trying to get professional advice from amateurs. Sometimes yeah. you have to pay. Mm-hmm. And being honest and being real, like, stop being cheap. Even when it comes to knowledge. Again, right. business That's important. The business consultant. People pay me good money to hear some of this advice. Mm-hmm. Why would I give it away for free? Mm-hmm. It's part of what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't go out here and just get all this knowledge and these certifications and stuff for nothing. Right. Well, I might have to pay for it. Right. You know, sometimes I don't even be hitting people over the head, but you, I got to get something out of this deal. There have even been situations right. with my friends mm-hmm. where, like, I know they didn't have the money to pay me. Right. Well, folks, that's fam. Mm-hmm. You can give me some food. That's true. That's <laughs> actually one of my, that's one of my currencies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, but what it is, I'm going to get something for my time. Right. Oh, it's dinner time. We can get some, grab some bite. We can go talk. Like, yeah. So it's not like I'm hitting you over the head. I know you might not have the money, but there is some exchange. Mm-hmm. And that exchange acknowledges because what I found is that when people put their dollars behind something, typically they're more serious about it. They're investing. Right. In it. So, okay, it may not be the money I normally charge, but you, my man, let's, you know, you, you hold me down with something. Right. You're going to do something. Right. You know, and, and I've done stuff like that. So it may be like a barter type thing. And I might not even come out and say all oh, that spiel, all oh, this business and all that stuff. Right. I just be like, yeah, let's look at something, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, something like that. And this goes back to pay. <laughs> this goes back to, hey, pay your producers, <laughs> pay your engineers, pay your ARs. Pay all the people that have helped you promote your thing. I know that they helped you make know. that thing because, yeah. like me, 
someone like I I know there have been many people that have asked me for beats. Yeah. But first of all, do I even like your stuff? <laughs> Cause that's a fact. That is definitely a factor. Because if you are trash, trash, yep. Right. Why would there's nothing worse than a whack rapper on a dope beat? I know. <laughs> but that's that's for the other podcast. I know. But yeah. also, um, Right, but also like, no. why would I like? There are people that like that are act that actively do not do this on per like, like they actively dodge people. Yeah, I have a degree in this. Yeah, why am I doing this for free? That's the thing that that goes back to the value in it. Mm-hmm. Right. Because what I found, especially like, again, I go back to when I was younger. Because when I was younger, I didn't realize all this, so I would just mm-hmm. like think I was helping the world, you know. Right. But people weren't invested. So what happens is mm-hmm. you don't take the effort serious. Right. So people will keep coming back. I would give them advice, man. Try this. Maybe you should do the X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. You know, you try and be nice about it. You try and be friendly. Maybe you should y'all you know, say things like, maybe you should try this. Right. Maybe you should do this, you know, and try to be conversational about it. And then they come back the next week, man, I don't know what's going on. I mean, well, did you try? Right. X, Y, Z? Nah, man, I just felt like... Right. And I've been a victim of this many times. So Yeah. But so also, that. I come back to my... Like, I'm starting to realize this because uh, Shouts to Dots, he was like, bro, you have a degree in this. you got to step up. Yeah. And... He's absolutely right. And the reason he has to keep repeating this to me, I am hard headed. And I'm not, first of all, I'm not afraid to say that because I know that, but also I need to step up. Yeah. But I think once it's, once you start stepping up, the people around you, that's what sometimes that's when the boundaries come in. Right. Oh, you want what? No, well, here's what I need. This is what I do. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know that, but this is what I do. So here, here's what I need. Right. And also, you start to separate again who's serious and who's not. Right. Sometimes people, well, no, you know what? We can sit down and have a consultation about that. Mm-hmm. Here's what I do. Here's my process. Here's my here's my charge. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do. Right. What happens? If they're serious, they'll take you up on it. But most people, they fade to black. <laughs> they get out of there because they don't. They're not ready for that yet. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes people need to know how serious you are. Mm-hmm. But again, another thing to the strong friends, you got to let people know. You got to let them know. Right. Set your boundaries. Mm-hmm. Set the price of the brick. You know, like you have to. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, even if it's not monetary, but there's something that you're going to get value back for. Right. And you, you, that will be a natural separator. Right. Who's serious and who's not. Right. Again, I started to see people fade out of my life mm-hmm. because they weren't ready to meet those needs. Right. This is going to be a two-way street at some point in time. Mm-hmm. You know? But also, you know, like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I finished that. No. I'm I was, just... Okay. See, I started, I like, before I actually knew how to make beats, I went to school. Like, first I, like, I did it on the side, like I would like mess around with my computer and I would make things that were at the, like they were trash. They were yeah. complete trash. And now that I, maybe, maybe that costs $5. Hey, you want this? Give me $5. But now I have a degree. I went to school for, <laughs> I'm not going to put myself out there like that, but I'm going to just say I went, went to, to school, school for a long time. You went to school. Yeah. Um. That's no different than any other professional. So the price of the brick is going up. The price of the brick goes up. It does. Because it's a better quality than now. Yeah. Think about it. Would you ask a doctor to cheapen your surgery? <laughs> I need knee surgery, fam. You know what I'm saying? You could me up. What is a doctor? <laughs> no, get out of here. Come on. <laughs> here. No. <laughs> But also, uh, no, no, one okay. questions, <laughs> no one questions a doctor's rates. Right. Why? Because I'm a doctor. This is what I did. I'm educated. I'm good at it. Bam. This is my brain. 
No one ever questions those things. You can't go to a doctor and say, like, hey, man, I need my show. I need surgery on my shoulder. Exactly. I know it's twenty thousand, but can you do it for like five? Fifty? Can you hook me? Can you hook me? Can you hook me up? No. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to that man to call him that. Like, that's that, that's what kills me. So even so, I know we're talking about it, right? but think about that. What we what we ask our 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 strong friends for? Mm-hmm. We ask them for stuff like this. We're trying to get opinion opinions and advice and things done that on a professional level for most people. Right. You know. No. Another thing I always get annoyed with people always ask me to move, help them move. Do you have a truck? Hell no. <laughs> I got back problems. I got knee problems. They think just because you're a big guy, you can lift this couch. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Uh, I can. But again, time. Right. What am I getting out of this deal? I love you. But a little slice of pizza after six hours of lifting your heavy stuff ain't doing it for me. <laughs> You know, like sometimes price of the brick. Price of the brick. That's why last time, like, it's at the point now I just hired a movie. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes spend the money, get your quality back. Right. You know, because yeah. they'll do quality work. They do quality work. They're gonna show up with the truck. My man gonna get in and out again in like two or three hours. I ain't got to worry about nothing. They boom, it's done. Mm-hmm. You know, or I got scrambled. You know, and you know how it is. Every time you move, you ask four or five people. Only two of them show up. They got commitment, so they ain't got that much time. You trying to hurry, you trying to scramble. It's always something like, why go through stuff like that? All right. You no. Know? So sometimes we just have to get away from leaning on people too much. And that's Absolutely. another thing. That's another point I want to say. Sometimes stop leaning on the strong friend too much. Mm-hmm. You know, like like I said, they're human beings at the end of the day, too. If you always find that you're calling the same person for the same things over and over again. Mm-hmm. You're leaning on them too much. Right. You know, if you don't take that person's advice, you're leaning on them too much and you're probably just doing a disservice to that person in the first place. Right. You know, like if if you're taken away from their life on a regular basis, it's too much, fam. Stop. Mm-hmm. Stop. There may be other things that you need to do to get your needs met. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Maybe you need to sit down and talk to a professional. Right. If it's something emotional, if it's something, something, maybe you need to get professional help. Right. It's also, a lot of us, there ain't too many people out here qualified. Again, if you were a qualified therapist, you're a qualified psychologist, if you're a qualified social worker, you're not mm-hmm. doing this for free. Right. So, again, don't think that you're going to get therapist quality advice mm-hmm. from a non therapist for free. Life doesn't work like that. It don't. So sometimes we have to stop leaning on these people. You know, I, I, I'm I good, I'm not great, and I'm definitely not a licensed therapist. My degrees are in psychology. Right. And my yeah. degree is in music production yeah. and sound design. Well, sometimes... You need something I'm, with that? Yeah. We'll discuss, we'll discuss rates. Yeah. Anything other than that? I can recommend... I can yeah. recommend a friend, hopefully... But I'm not I'm not the person that you should be talking to about your social emotional issues, honestly. Right. And you shouldn't want that. You know? Right, right. Sometimes it's cool to have casual conversations and stuff like that. But I've had phone calls. Man, I don't know what's going on with me. I'd be thinking some stuff. I'd be hearing like I don't like, damn, I'm not the guy for that. You hearing voices and stuff? I'm not the dude for that. You <laughs> might need to sit down and talk to a professional. You know, like. A quick Google search will probably find you one. Mm. Sometimes we got stuff doing it to people or relationship stuff. I'm not a relationship expert. Not we're not. Most of us aren't. We try to figure it out too. Okay, what your relationship yeah. status is? Yeah, that's real. Out <laughs> yeah, that is real. So real. It's an ongoing process for all of us. I don't care if you're married. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're single. I don't care if you've been whatever. We're still trying to figure this out. Right. So sometimes the advice that comes from us ain't gonna be the greatest either because we're trying to figure it out too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we look and look good, but sometimes we're trash at this too. Right. We're gonna locked up in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So one thing about that is that like what I've what I've realized is that like 
like you know how some people say you have to you have to learn how to be married yeah how do i do that i have to learn on the job experience and because all situations are different too mm -hmm. we're all different all of us every relationship is different mm -hmm. so one thing that may work for someone may not work for another person right that's life also all people can offer sometimes is suggestions and things it really comes down to experience and best practices mm -hmm. that's what people are offering i can tell you what may have worked for me mm -hmm. didn't work for me some stuff i heard but that may not work for you at the end of the day right but sometimes we have to take that for what it is take that advice for what it is it's advice it's suggestions. Right. It's also suggestions. Oh. at the end of the day i'm not in that relationship and that's you are i don't know i don't know like sometimes you know so sometimes people ask me questions i'm like i'm not in your shoes right you know so again at the end of the day what we're offering again even as a consultant and then they were offering it's advice mm -hmm. it's best practice and i was just teaching a safety course and even sometimes with this stuff i'm telling people like these are tools they right. knowledge to be able to help people in times of medical emergency right it may not be an exact science because all situations are different Mm -hmm. These may be some guidelines, some things for your brain to go to. So you may have like a toolkit when things happen. You can check, okay, maybe I can do this. I can do mm -hmm. this. I'm looking for this. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. You know? So sometimes all this advice, all these things, that's what they are, the suggestions. Right. But sometimes you try them. It may not work. It's mm -hmm. experience. Sometimes our, we are the best teacher. Sometimes life is the best teacher. Right. You know? So... We're doing what we can out here. I know, right. dang, as we're time. I was still honest <laughs> to say. To learn know, how to do something, you have to do that thing. Yeah. Or, and even if you suck at it, you got to keep doing that thing to get better at it. Yeah. Or sometimes you, you take the advice, knowing that it's just advice. Mm -hmm. It may not be law. We try things. You try it. You know, I listen to my OGs, my my bro, my uncles, my love, you know, like people mm -hmm. around me, I still look at people too, like absolutely advice. And, you know, sometimes you have to, to figure out, okay, this is good. I don't know about that. What he just said, you know, <laughs> let me, I can pull this one, this one may work. But sometimes yeah. that's what it is. People tell you all types of crazy stuff, you know, mm -hmm. like <laughs> you get, if you ask, you can ask five people. Right. Question. You're going to get five different five answers. Different answers. <laughs> I remember, I remember back in the days, because especially when, when we were kids in the neighborhood, we used to ask the older dudes, you know, like this certain stuff on life. It'd be like a girl or something, you know. Hey man, like, oh, man. Big, big bro, I like this girl, man. What you think I should do? And the homies are gonna give you an answer for you know, they are. <laughs> one guy, I remember one guy, my man Biggie Belt, rest in peace. I love that man. He was like my mm. big bro, and he would give me the logical answer. Step to approach her, tell her how you feel, tell her what your intentions are, you know, show her that you like her, things like that. Right. Cool, Big E, tell me. I go to somebody else and say, I don't know who I would go to, so I ain't gonna say no names. I go to somebody else. <laughs> Man, don't worry about that one joint. It's like three, four other joints you need. To <laughs> Man, don't even worry about her. <laughs> okay, that's the advice I get from him. Another joint, he'd be like, you know, hey, man, why are you, why are you trying to love her, man? Don't love these hoes, man. Uh, this is him. So like, when you go through life, you hear these and it's like, that could be oh, man. And that's how people are. Like, so we're going on, that's what I said. So sometimes you have to know, like, I shouldn't have gone to him for that advice because I know he a hoe. He was going to give me the hoe advice. He don't care about nobody in life, so he going to give me the nobody in life, but, you know, advice. Right. Big E going to give me the logical advice. I see how he lives. I see how he moves. Mm -hmm. it's like an example of what i kind of like and strive for so i'm gonna go with that you know it's like the door right. door number one door number two door number three you know <laughs> like so um behind door behind door number one it's a relationship with a girl that you actually want to be in a relationship with door number two hoes <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> Door Which three. door do you want? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so like, and it's like, it's like, what, what show is that? That's um, Price is Right, I think. Where he's like, <laughs> trying to bid and everybody behind you in the audience is screaming the number out and everybody has their own number. There's a whole bunch of people screaming in the back about what number they think you should bid. Right. Life. 
So I know we say all that to say. <laughs> <laughs> Just be mindful, especially with our strong friend. The other yeah. thing I want to say too is, is, is check on them and be genuine with them too. Right. Don't just hit them when you just want something. Right. That's one of the biggest irritants I think I have. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like if you my folks, sometimes it's I just sometimes I just want to say, hear you. Hey, what's up? Right. You don't want to hear every time you need something. I shouldn't be, you know, we shouldn't be hearing from that's another thing too. Stop. So stop leaning on strong friends. If that's what you're doing, mm-hmm. stop. Like if you care about that person, care about them. Check on them when you don't want something. Just right. hit them up, randomly text them something. Like, if that's supposed to be your folks, then do the things you do with your other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. don't just hit them up when you want something. Um, and if not, the, eventually they're going to catch on and eventually they're gonna, you're going to end the relationship. Right. You might lose a friend. And that's what's going to happen, being honest. So mm-hmm. stop, stop, stop using people. Don't, don't use, that's what people. It is. use them. You know, if that's supposed to be, your, like I said, that's supposed to be a friend. That's supposed to be a family member, mm-hmm. you know. Show them a little bit more respect and love than just leaning on them for stuff. Mm-hmm. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. That's important. Yeah. Um, do we have any Bobs and Karens? We have a lot of Bobs and Karens. Oh, dang, man. Yeah. This well, one, I think, was, I know it. There was a lot. I'm sorry. What there you was... what you got? Okay, let's get into it. I got like. I like, I'm pretty sure that there are more, but like, I have three definite ones. Damn. Okay. So, first off, let's talk about this woman on a plane that, like, she, I guess from, okay, from like the beginning of the, the beginning of the video, it, from like, what it looks like is that this white lady, said something to this black woman when she, while she was like moving about the plane. Okay. And this and then the black woman she said like she literally checks her. And she okay. says, "Oh no, you're not doing this to me. I got time today." Like y'all y'all know what happens when in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's about to be a wrap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, ooh, I forgot about this. Uh, Woman without a mask goes into a bank and (laughs) this, uh, she tries to, she tries to speak to the bank teller. Bank teller says, hey, ma'am, you gotta wear a mask. Then she starts going off and she's like, (laughs) look, Y'all know, y'all know. I'm sorry for the, I'm sorry for the people that are wearing headphones right now. There you go. <laughs> but also, <laughs> but also, you removed. She, no, she didn't have one. I mean, did they, they kick her out? Uh, yeah, they yeah. kicked her out. Yeah, they wouldn't help her. And then, uh, oh, let's talk about the. Let's talk about the cops that like, so someone got into an accident. Mm-hmm. A, a black man tries to flag down the cops to tell, to get, to help them out. Have you seen this video? I haven't. I just, I have that bad feeling of where this is going. Okay. So they, so dude tries to flag down the cops to try to get this family some help because they were in an accident. Yeah. And the cops come, but then they start manhandling the the man that flagged them down. Yeah. And first of all, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna ask, hey, what's going on, or hey, w- uh, what's going on? I see that you were waving your hands at me. So many of these things can be handled with a conversation. Yeah. Nothing has to get physical. I, I just think we're at the point where they don't want to have a conversation. Think about that situation, like, especially the cop, like, 
man's flag can be down. It's the job to try to figure out what's going on. Right. But I don't like. I'm not going to sit here and say they assume. I, I don't know if they even care at right. this point. It's almost like I see an opportunity to get a black man. You know, that's what it looks like from the outside in. You know, yeah. like, do you even care to try to figure out what's really going on? Or are you just targeting any chance you get? Right. This is sick, man. Are you that's looking sick. for a reason? That's what it is. Like I said, target. Are you just looking? Yeah. Black dude here, he might, might, we might be able to get this one. That's that's what it looks like. That's what the optics look like. Or maybe someone was just in an accident and they're trying to get your attention so that they can get some help. Yeah, it doesn't take much to see someone in an accident. Doesn't take right. much to see some cars mangled up over there. Right. To piece together what may have happened. Mm -hmm. And that's why I go back to say, like, or do they even care about the accident? Like, for this example, do they care it was an accident or did they just bypass all that and say, you know, we got black here, this guy, this black guy here, let's get him. Let's get him. We don't care what happened. We can justify it. We can write it up. We can doctor it up to make it look like whatever we want to. Let's just get him. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Prove me wrong, y'all. I dare, I want to, I would love to hear a police officer prove me wrong right now. Mm -hmm. Pro, show it, show it, show that that's not the case. Show that that's not what you're trying to do to us out here. Mm -hmm. That you're not targeting, that you're not going after it just for no reason. I would love to hear an explanation there and then hide behind all that bull. That's clear as day. Car accident. Let's figure out what happened. It doesn't take much to figure out what happened in a car accident. Right. Come on, y'all. They just don't care. I don't think they care. This is not about the truth. This is not about right and wrong. This is about targeting. Right. Someone's trying to help someone else. Somebody flagging yourself. Come on, you see somebody flagging somebody down. First of all, black people don't flag down cops right. unless it's a dire situation. You think a black dude is flagging down a cop to because he did something illegal? To get himself in trouble? <laughs> Hey, cops, cops, I just shot like three people. Come, come. Like, you don't really don't know. Like, nobody doing that. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. That's, that's, that's what I have. I really, you know, like I said, that's that, yeah. Jeez, come on. It's annoying. It is. It's, yeah. It's stupid. It's irresponsible. Like, no, that's not, that's literally not the oath that you took. I think it's just evil at this point. To become a cop. I think it's just evil. But you know what? I think that's why some people became cops. I think they became cops for the wrong reasons. To exert power. To, to show dominance. Whatever their agenda is. I believe that. Again, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Until I, until I see otherwise... Because all the evidence and things that I'm seeing, this is right. what it looks like. I see. Prove me wrong, cops. I sit down and talk to anybody about that one. Absolutely. Prove me, Prove me wrong. Show that this is not the case. Prove to us, to people, not even just like, prove, prove to people that you're not just out here targeting folks. Right. Because these days, Looks like you're targeting folks. It looks, it looks, that's what it looked like. Yep. Looks like that's what it looks like to me. Yep. And a whole lot of other people. Yep. Just like cops, just like Bob and Karen's. What we always say, they seek us out. Mm-hmm. Black people be mind our own business. Let me be mind our business. Literally. You know, you know, most yes. black people, especially black people who aren't doing dirt, like we really just trying to go on about the day. Trying to live trying our to lives. Trying to work, trying to do the thing. We ain't going we to deal with that. I don't want to deal with a Bob or a Karen. Neither do I. I'm not approaching. I'm sorry. I'm just saying like this, like in a face of the black man. I'm not approaching white people for something random. Right. Even if I see him doing something that might be slightly wrong, I'm probably not going to approach him. Right. Why? Because I'm going to mind my business for the most part. Mm -hmm. I'm not approaching or buying a grocery store 
not approaching nobody at a gas station. Like, even when we see people that are not wearing a mask, what we do? They ain't wearing no mask, right. man. You get out of here. Like, nah. <laughs> you know, they get up out of here, they ain't wearing no mask. Like, right. not approaching the Sir, man, you need to wear a mask. Nope, I'm out of my business. I'm out. Right. Like, remember what I said? Uh, I think it was even last week. Uh, dude, was, dude, and the, dude and his girl were fighting. Yep. Uh, lady said, hey, I'm going to call the cops. Oh. I'm gonna Everybody die. out. Man. <laughs> Everybody out. That's how, we, that's how we getting down these days. So they know that, too. Ain't nobody flagging nobody down for BS. Come on. Come on, man. Use your head. That's what it's about. Evil. It's evil. It's evil, all right? So, y'all know. Y'all know we say the same stuff every week. Right. Continue to stay safe out there, y'all. Right. Um, wear your mask. Wear your mask. And, stay home. Yep. And the goal at the end of the day, if you're out, is to get back home. Make it home. Right. Um, I feel like that's just becoming like a my battle cry. Get home. Mm-hmm. Also, we want to say... In California, please, everybody be safe. We know that they're having, like, mandatory quarantines there. Yeah. So we just want to say be safe. And uh, if you have to go out, wear your mask. And just mind – ooh, also, mind your space. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mind your space. You know, remember that the Rona is not the only thing out here now. It's flu season, stuff like that. Like Right. So just just be mindful of those things, y'all. If you can yeah. get your flu shot, yeah. And if you don't believe in it, like some folks. Hey, um, hey, there are some people that are so. Actually, real quick, <laughs> I did not. I so um, I actually heard from somebody that from I heard from a friend that they can get the uh, they can get the um, flu shot because it has eggs in it, and. That made me stop, and I I said, "Wait, they have that? Like, they're why do they have eggs in it?" This, oh man, that's a whole other show. <laughs> if you ever look at what some of the medications we take, yeah, yeah, some of the things we eat, it would scare you to death. Yeah, yeah. So, some things, yeah, because oh, we've talked about it. Yeah. We've talked about, we've had the conversation about the things that we put into our bodies. Yeah. Go back. Like, go back. <laughs> I'm, dr- I'm drinking Kambucha right now. Like, if you're <laughs> on video, you can see this. You see the bottle. Yep. Sometimes, yeah. So just be mindful of that, y'all. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I'm going to leave it alone right there. What? <laughs> Brad time. So, yeah. We do those things, folks, y'all. Appreciate us. Appreciate Please be you. safe. Please be safe out there. Again, check out Black Sport Media Network. Check out the Community Coalition Show. Mm-hmm. Visit our website at communitycoalitionshow.com. Mm-hmm. From there, you got links for you know all streaming platforms. Also, check out the video on YouTube on our YouTube channel. If you go to the website, mm-hmm. there's a link to the YouTube channel there as well too. Yep. Um, Call our merch. Follow the merch follows on social media. Yep. We, we there. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook group. So we around, y'all. So check us out. And until next week, y'all be safe out there. Please. Be smart. Yes, please. Be smart. Yeah, please. Please. Use your head.